you know what? I'm in love with playwright. Yeah, you heard it. Let me tell you the reason as well why I like I love so much the playwright. Okay, so in our previous video we discussed how to uh, record the test script and execute it with the help of Angular. I mean playwright CLI as well as the gist. Today in this video we are going to see how to record the test. That is we are going to get as a video format. Let me show you. Probably you will understand it better. Okay. So let me head over to my uh, VS Code, the editor. And here, if you remember, we recorded the script with the help of Playwright CLI. And that beautifully generated all the source code for us to do the testing, right? So I'm going to use uh, the same script. But what we are going to do is we are going to do some small, small modifications in the code. And that will uh, generate a video test report. Basically, uh, when we talk about the testing, we know that how much report is very essential for any of the testing, right? So there we can see the screenshot and we can identify like what went wrong, what is right, what is wrong and all those stuff, right? Here out of the box, playwright can record the test, record the video as a video. Okay, let me show you. So what we can do is we can go to the browser.new context and if I mouse over on the new context you can see that we have like options right that's a optional parameter we can make use of it so here i'm going to say like record video and then i'm going to set the path of the video like where i have to store so i'll just use this directory there in the sense directory where i'm going to say like dot slash that means the project folder and then i'm going to make a folder called videos slash okay so whatever i'm going to do the record that will be stored in this particular folder now let me bring up my terminal Control j to bring up my terminal and then i'm going to say just then followed by the test name that is login.test.ts okay let's run this and check we can do the same in selenium as well but selenium doesn't have any inbuilt capabilities for that uh, if i'm not wrong we have a library called monty or something i think if you know just do let me know in the comments okay so with that uh, monty probably we can record the test script but here in playwright it's an inbuilt feature and that's really really cool right so here you can see our test is uh, yet to complete and you can see we got a folder called videos within that we got a file as well okay and test is of course completed so let's go and open this in the file explorer and within the videos folder and probably you can see the um, uh, file here right and let's go and play this and here you can see that it's actually doing the login and then it's going to fill up the form whatever we have written the test script it's going to do the same thing right so with this video of course we can uh, know like if there is any error or if any flow is wrong probably we can understand very easily right so that is the beauty of playwright i believe and that's why I'm just love with this now. Okay. And we have another option as well. So let me bring this console down. And here I can also set the resolution. Probably I can say like size. And I can set the um, width and height. So if I say like height, um, we'll set the width first and then probably the height. Okay. We have to give the integer the number value. Uh, for example, let's say that I want to get the resolution as 800 and the height should be of like 600. So we can go like 1280, 980 or whatever the resolution you want. Okay. And by default, the default uh, size for this is by 1280 into 720. So let me go and check here once again. Okay. So let me show you in the documentation, probably you'll get it. Um, Okay, uh, we are not able to see the default size by I read it somewhere. It's like 1280 to 720 pixels. So that is what the default size of this one. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway, okay, that's fine. I think uh, you can trust me, I believe. Okay. And one more thing you have to remember whenever you, whenever we use the record video options, we have to close this context for sure or else video won't get generated. Okay. And of course we have already close the context here so here you can see we have already context is closed basically so the video is of course generating right now let's go and run this again probably we'll see the resolution like how the video aspect ratio has changed or maybe some difference right
yeah so the chromium browser got launched and uh, the script is running and it should go and fill the form and then it should close the context the browser the page everything it will get closed and here itself you can see we got another one video so let me open the folder and here you can see we got another video and it's in the format of web m uh, that's basically small size video and here you can see 800 into 600 we got the video here as well right so you can set it up to like 920 or 1080p video that's really fine okay so yeah that's it so these are the unique features of playwright so i'm covering up from the unique feature instead of, instead of going through like um, the same usual activity like passing the send keys or uh, handling drop down alerts so i thought of covering the unique feature of playwright then i will just go with the very basics okay so that's it for the video thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon and if you want to see more videos on playwright kindly consider subscribing to the channel and click on the bell i just wanna be right with you every single day and if there's any trouble yeah we coming through as one you know i got your back in every way under the sun girl i'll be staring looking at you every single night i just gotta